Hey YouTube, welcome to my first video of my new channel. This is going to consist of my Turbo Silverado build. Um, I didn't end up going with the hot side kit because I wanted this to do, be a custom. Um, and I'm going to go over the problems I'm having, some issues, and how I'm going to fix it. Um, this is version 1 of the build. There might be a couple different versions due to some difficulties I'm having but I think this setup right now is gonna work for what it is so just a little build overview it's a 2000 Silverado yes it's a piece of shit but it's gonna look good I got some Ford white platinum um, paint that I got at a local paint shop and I'm gonna spray uh, so just getting into this build uh, it already has a trans cooler but really beat up so i'm probably going to order a new one and the guy before me didn't use proper connections which i want this build to be clean i got this truck and it already had a texas speed 220 cam comp 918 springs and upgraded push rods um let's see i ended up repainting the valve covers and also the fuel um was this the fuel rail it's the return style so it has the two right back here i got these on ebay they're quick disconnects with the an feed and this is going to my fuel pressure regulator vendetta motorsports i got this on ebay really cheap probably what, 80 bucks this whole build i could have went a lot cheaper but i ended up Trying to go a little bit all out just because I want this thing to be nice. So I spent about $4,000 on all the parts. Um, mine a mess. These are the old headers on it. Had to cut them off because the bolts were so bad. Uh, let's see. So I got eBay headers. I believe these were like 200 bucks. Um, three inch outlets, which might be a little bit too big. So I'm a little bit worried about the turbo spool, but it's not that far of a run um, These welds kind of suck, but for this little Harbor Freight welder I got It's not bad. I've used this thing for about two years three years now and it's held up to every job that I've had uh, Kind of had a little issue with the turbo location that I wanted so I ended up mounting it right here. Yes, yeah, shitty welds, but it's solid. And this is all gonna be wrapped later. Um, so what I did was I ended up ordering this whole pipe kit on uh, eBay. Came with a lot of piping I got it for 180 bucks, which is a steel, 24 pieces of three inch stainless steel, I think. Um, so a little overview, this is a billet. 7875 turbo also ebay special i think got this for 250 i sent them an offer most of the stuff i got i had sent in offers and just counter offering until they um accepted my offer and then right here i have the block off plate i ended up getting one cheaper that wasn't meant for the ls it still fits i found that trick on the form you get a bmw um, block off plate and it works perfectly uh, I got these two cheap eBay wastegates. We'll see how they work, but I plan on mounting them right here. One right here. Maybe I can get it to balance real quick while I, uh, nah, I don't think I will, but one right there, one right here. I might run this one down beneath here. Uh, it's going to be tuned by Jamie Parker. He lives in North Carolina. Uh, he does. He that's what I got tuned before. Is he tuned it? He tuned the truck originally, and uh, he's got a couple turbo vehicles. This is actually his old engine out of his truck. It's a 4.8 Gen 4, so it already had the Texas Speed 220, 220 cam, Comp 19 springs, push rods. I ended up getting the Tree Union rockers l7 lifters and i got off ebay used but they were in really good condition i got them for like 100 bucks if that um ict billet coil pack holders brackets 
Um, the thing is though, I'm gonna have to remote locate these just because they hit the header, even on this side, which I might just re relocate the one, but then that might kind of look silly. So I'm just gonna get the relocation kit and then mount it on the firewall, get longer plug wires. See, that's one of the problems I'm having right here. And also on this side, this uh, really close, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. I have this temporary bolted up. Um, I did have to beat in the header just slightly. As you can see, it's flat right there just because of this bolt. Um, I could have probably taken it out and figured something out that way, but I didn't wanna end up doing that. I have a ton of other parts in the house. I have the 8 AN feed, 6 AN return lines, and then two Walker 450 fuel tank or fuel pump tanks or fuel sorry Wobber 450 in tank pumps two of them and then i think i'm gonna run one on the hop switch for right now i'm probably just gonna run one just because the tank is a 2000 silverado so it's a little bit smaller bucket so i'm not sure if it'll fit too i might end up doing what sloppy mechanics did with the fuel squid but not sure about that yet um not sure really what else i got but right now i'm working on getting this uh right here connected so you know it's a uh, it's gonna be something like this to connect these two and then i'm gonna do the exhaust for the turbo out right through there perfect room lots of room for that i did uh end up deleting the ac but the uh, ac compressor is still in so i need to take that out probably do that later and then in the back here here's a little bit of the truck yes it's a couple different colors it's blue black and white the interior is pretty clean except there's a couple panels missing, which I ordered on eBay. Sorry, it's a little dark. The bed needs to be re bed primer or bed liner. That the 4L80 right here, it's a little dark in here. Um, but yeah, this is the truck. The shop's a mess. Don't mind that. I'm working on this project. So uh, stay tuned, guys. I'll keep an update. Hopefully, next video. Thank you.